What is going on everybody? Sergeant Michael Eckert here. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a boot camp prep challenge workout. Uh, this will be specifically designed for anybody who's gonna be joining boot camp who wants to get mental toughness and physical toughness because that's what boot camp's all about. It's not just about being the physical stud, it's about mentally being able to take a punch and get back up and keep going. So that's pretty much what this workout's gonna be like. I'm gonna take you through the warm up in about 30 seconds, but I wanna describe what the workout's gonna be. It's gonna be an EMOM, which stands for every minute on the minute. So every minute you're gonna be doing one workout and then you're gonna, however long it takes you to do that one workout. So let's say it takes you 30 seconds to do the first minute of workout, then you have 30 seconds rest until the next one. So if it takes you 45, you get less rest, you'll have 15 seconds of rest. If you do it in 15 seconds, you'll have 45 seconds of rest. It's all about intensity, okay? And these workouts are gonna get a little harder each, each time. So it'll be like a three minute block. So we'll do those first three workouts. We're gonna increase the reps, we're gonna do it again. And we're gonna stack it one last time uh, for a really bad, <laughs> intense finisher. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you through the warm up real quick. It's gonna be high knees, jumping jacks, and then invisible jump rope. Uh, we're gonna do those 30 seconds each to get the blood flowing, get into the uh, rhythm of things. And then uh, uh, the other thing is the reason I'm outside right now in the wet grass, the muddy grass, is because that's what it's all about. We're, we're developing mental toughness. We don't wanna be inside on a yoga mat. We don't wanna be in the gym on the nice gym padded floor. We wanna be outside getting dirty, getting muddy, because that's what it's all about. We're training the mental and the physical. So first minute and 30 seconds because we're gonna run through this twice. I'm gonna set my timer and uh, we're gonna go straight into it. So the first one's gonna be high knees. <sighs> These ones are gonna be self-explanatory. I'll walk you through the rest of the workout right after the warm up. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna set my timer. Ready, go. High knees. Just 90 degrees each time. Thirty seconds. This is all about amping the heart rate up, getting the blood flowing. You can hear the ground's wet below me because uh, we're gonna be getting muddy in a second. Five seconds. So we got jumping jacks. Ready? Go. Intensity is everything. It's literally everything. Wear a pair of clothes you're not gonna care about. If you're already in the military, you can still benefit from this. But wear your uh, boots and utes like I am. But just understand, well, if you're a Marine, you're already used to getting muddy. So, whatever. Already switch, invisible jump rope. You just pretend you have a jump rope. Really nice calf and hamstring burn. You sure to feel your heart rate amping up. Smooth transition into each one of these. Light jumps, just like you're jumping on a, with a jump rope. 15 seconds. And we're gonna rest for 30 seconds, we're gonna run through this again. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, so we got 30 seconds, we're gonna do those three workouts again. Remember, intensity. It's not just about being physically fit, it's about being mentally fit, being able to know this workout we're about to do is gonna be intense, it's gonna be hard. And if you can, if you have the power to, front load these workouts, make them really intense in the beginning, rest for as long as you can in that minute so we can attack the next workout right afterwards. We got five seconds. We're going straight into high knees. Ready, go. Intensity the whole time, the whole time. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Don't switch and jump into that. Three, two, one, switch. Ten seconds. Ready. Switch to this little jump rope. Just 
light hops off the ground. You should be really feeling it in your calves. Especially if you're doing this in the sun. You should be getting a nice little sweat going. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All right, so that should be a nice little warm up. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. If your body starts to sweat, that's a good thing. Make sure you have water close to you. And uh, stop this timer somehow. There we go. Okay. So yeah, you should be feeling pretty good. Nice and pumped up. We're gonna get right into the uh, workout examples. Okay, so just to reiterate what I was talking about, it is an EMOM. One minute, you're gonna be doing a workout. However long it takes you to do that workout is going to be your rest time at the end. So you have a 60 second window to do everything, including your workout and your rest. Because then as soon as the next minute starts, there's going to be another workout. And then you have to start doing that one. And the whole point about this is it's gonna be stacking, getting more and more and more intense every time. So the first block of three minutes might be super easy for you. The second one, it might be, you know, pretty intense. The third one, you should be, one, really exhausted from the first couple, and then two, you should be really still trying to attack, developing that mental toughness that even though this is really hard, I can keep, still keep pushing. So uh, with, with all that said, I'm gonna walk you through the, fir or the three exercises we're gonna be doing. Uh, the first one being two push-ups, flip onto your back, come up to your legs, standing jump tuck. We're gonna be doing both of those two reps. So two push-ups, roll onto your back, come up to your feet, jump tuck twice, back down onto your back, roll over, two push-ups, and we're gonna be doing that four times for the first exercise. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like real quick. And remember, intensity. So if you're on a nice, muddy, soft surface like the grass, let your stomach hit the ground. Feel it, really feel that intensity. Like come down, obviously try to brace yourself on the way down, but really like get into it. Just pretend like you're diving on the ground or something. Intensity is everything. We're training for boot camp here. So what I'm gonna do is drop to the ground. As soon as my chest hits the ground, I'm gonna do two push-ups. I'm gonna roll onto my back. I'm gonna come up to my feet. I'm gonna do two jump tucks. I'm gonna come back down the same way I came up and then do it again. So I'll show you an example. I'm gonna do it slow. So you're gonna come down. Two push-ups, one, two, roll on your back. You're gonna come up, and then you're gonna jump twice, back down, roll, one, two, come up, one, two, back down, one, two. And now we're making sugar cookies, because well, wet sugar cookies. Yeah, we're already getting nice and muddy. Um, the number one thing is you just wanna keep moving, okay? Even if it's difficult for you to get up the first time, as you progress, you'll become more limber. You saw, like, it took me a little bit of power to get up on that first try, but it's about toughing through the movement and getting up, doing those two tucks. So, the whole point of all this is asking me the first exercise. The second exercise we're gonna be doing for the second minute is going to be V sit-ups with a roll. So, a V sit-up, it's just your hands stacked on top of each other, knees bent, with your hands going as far forward as you can. So, pretty simple exercise. But we're gonna be rolling one time, doing it again, rolling back the other way. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if you sit up, my feet are on the ground, my, or my heels are on the ground, I'm going down like this, stack my hands, but reach far as I can forward, right? So my scapulas are, are, are gonna be off the ground, and uh, reach far forward as you can, one, Two, three, four, five, roll. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the rep count for that, yeah, it's gonna be five, and then we're gonna do uh, four rounds of that. Uh, everything's gonna be whatever, whatever the workout is, but with four rounds, and then that following workout set, so the first three minutes, it's gonna be two and two for the push-ups and the jump tucks. It's gonna be five for the V sit-ups. And then the last one's gonna be five and two. I'll show you what those are. But uh, then the next bracket of three minutes stacked on top of each other is going to be 
double the amount of reps for everything. So then, uh, as you can tell, your rest is gonna get shorter every time. So the intensity in the beginning has to keep increasing. As we climb up the hill, you gotta start sprint. So the last exercise, the third exercise, is gonna be mountain climbers for five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do low to high push-up. So high plank position after you're doing your mountain climbers. One, down to your elbows. Two, back up. And then five, two. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're gonna be here. We're gonna be going one, two, three, four, five. Down, up, down, up. One, two, three, four, five. Down, up, down, up. Okay? We're gonna do that four times. Again, the four, four rounds are gonna stay the same. The only thing that's gonna change into the next bracket of training is going to be double the reps. So that is gonna be the three exercises we do for the workout. Um, I'm gonna set the timer. I'm gonna run through this. It's gonna be nine minutes total because it's three blocks of three. And it's gonna be intense, okay? I consider myself pretty in shape, but uh, it's gonna be intense. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first exercise we're gonna jump into, I'm just gonna go over one more time. We're gonna be doing the two push-ups, roll over, jump tucks twice, back down, two push-ups, back up, two, two. We're doing that four times. The next minute, we're going into the uh, five V sit-ups roll five v sit-ups roll back five v sit-ups and then one more set of five so we're doing four everything's gonna be four four rounds but the reps are gonna be a little different and then the last thing is gonna be those mountain climbers for five and then up down for two any any rep that we do in the first category we're gonna double and then whatever we double or whatever we've done in the second category we're gonna double that too so the third round is gonna be spiked it's gonna just ramp up in an intense workout so with that no, for, without further ado, uh, let's get right into this. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop this on the ground, I'm gonna say three, two, one, and then we're gonna go. So we're gonna jump right into those push-ups, jump tucks, and we're gonna start. It's about nine minutes long. So ready, set, go. It's okay to forget how to do Okay, so that was 30 seconds. You can already tell that's gonna be really hard to do from the third, second, third round. Heart rate should be amping up. Got a little bit of a break on this next one. I ended it at exactly 30 seconds. Remember, we're getting muddy. So five, four, three, two, one. One. No fall. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. That was four. Okay, we get a nice 40 second rest on this one. Intensity, front load your workouts. Don't just casually roll. Because on the next one, we're doing 10 V sit ups, still four rolls. So it's gonna take more time and your rest is gonna go down. We're going straight into the mountain climbers. So mountain climbers are gonna be five. Then we're gonna go down for two, back up for two. Should be pretty quick. This is all about intensity. That's why the reps increase. They, they don't increase, they double. Every single time we do it. So three, two, one, five mountain climbers. One, two, three, five. One, two, one, two. Go. All right, so that's the first three minutes of the EMOM. I get 45, about 40 seconds of rest here. So now we're doubling the reps we did the first time. The first time we did it, we did two and two. So now we're gonna do four and four. I understand eight and eight sounds impossible, 
But again, that'll be the last rep you'll do of that workout. Pretty much you'll roll right into the next one on the last set. So now we're doing four push-ups, four jump tucks, back down. Intensity, intensity. Hold on. There we go. It took me 10 seconds longer. So the next time I do it, it's gonna be really bad. Intensity, the whole time. You got 10 seconds for the next one. Remember though, 10 V sit ups this time. Roll, 10. Roll back. Ready, go. Okay, we got 20 seconds to rest. Remember, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to make that last one. Cause technically that's 20 per. We'll try it cause it'll be good to get it going. But yeah, this next one, mountain climbers. So 10, 10 and four. Ready, go. God, okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to make this next one. Let's go, intensity though. Full time. Even if it's fucking impossible. Let's go. Done. 
Let's go. Last one. Last minute, last minute, last minute. Who gives a shit? Finish. This is real Okay, you see me, I didn't finish, I didn't come close. But boot camp is about, even in the face of something that looks impossible, to keep going. That's what they wanna see. That, that's what they wanna see. That's what they want you to do. They want you to keep going in the face of impossibility. And that is why this workout I had never done it before. I wasn't about to give you a workout that I thought was easy and that you would see me do casually, whatever. I've been through boot camp. I know the expectation, I know the standard. A lot of people fall off that standard when they get out of boot camp because as the term goes, they think they've made it. Don't be those people. Always, always, even if you're not looking at the service, the Marine Corps, always hold yourself to a higher standard. I'm gonna leave it to you guys and girls to cool down, because uh, that was a brutal workout. Go walk, go let your heart rate come down, that's all we're really doing, we're cooling down. If you feel like you can stretch, but I'm gonna go for a little walk. If y'all wanna see more of these videos, if you wanna get muddy with me, let me know. Like, subscribe, comment to this channel. We're gonna be getting it. Anyway, that's all I have. Take care.